Well, a couple things. Number one is I rarely see any position in the business world where there's not some public speaking involved. Now this could be just you presenting to your team of eight people. Um, it could be you being called to present then that group's ideas to management or something else. So while I do get paid to present, um, the skills that you develop as in public speaking, absolutely, it's one of those things that just crosses all boundaries. So I believe that improving your ability to speak on your feet, improving your understanding of how you can structure a presentation and have it be more effective uh, actually will stand you in good stead. No matter, I remember the first thing I did in public speaking was as a volunteer for a local organization. I didn't, you know, so even people that think, oh, but I'm not gonna be in business. Well, are you gonna be alive, <laughs> you know? Are you going to be in the PTA at some point? Are you going to be a volunteer for your local church or community organization? You're going to need to do some public speaking. So as far as getting over the fear, the fact is that even professional speakers sometimes get the jitters. I happen to have a presentation. <laughs> I'm doing this a week from today and just found